Hello, America. My name is Microsoft Sven. I am a professional text reader on many a personal computer. The idiot writing this script enjoys my presence nations, probably because his speech is on par with the later President Bush's mannerism sums. He claims that my speech is perfect, since my presentation is basically neutral and in fact sums, and he claims that I have no non American acts sexes. Please be advised that the writer is highly controversial, but he stinks for himself. So that the political views expressed in my presentations are not mine, nor they may not be the author's core views. The author gathers information from unknown sources, usually from websites that claim they gathered their information from U.S. government agencies. He does not verify the content of their misinformation. Some of his information is from www.parodsarts.com slash Mr. Pro seems to gather the information accurately, but presents the piecemeal information as purely facts, without considering the overall picture. The author has one other, finished presentation, and is searching for the concerns of the average American citizen. He will try to inform you with the real facts, sprink, killed with his sick sense of humor. So please feel free to post a comment about your concerns. The author is most concerned about governmental policies, especially health care reform and how it should be addressed by our president ident. Obama, this is Microsoft's fam. Wishing you and yours the best of times, and a happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> Many people ask me, I, Mr. Dabba Lisps, why they should hire a professional narrator to recite their poems or read their books. My best answer is for them to earlobe to earlobe the presentations. So I'll play the recordings of our rate reading a poem entitled The Cat in the Hat on Aging. Then I, Dabba Lisps, will narrate the same poem. A Cat in the Hat on Aging I cannot see, I cannot pee, I cannot chew, I cannot screw. Oh my God, what can I do? My memory shrinks, my hearing stinks, no sense of smell, I look like hell. My mood is bad, can you tell? My body's drooping, have trouble pooping. The golden years have come at last, the golden years can kiss my ass. The cat in the hat on aging, I cannot see. I cannot pee. I cannot chew. I cannot screw. Oh, my God, what can I do? My memory shrinks. My hearing stinks. No sense of smell. I look like hell. My mood is bad, can you tell? My buddy's drooping. Have trouble pooping. The golden ears have come at last. The golden ears can kiss my ass. Thank you. Much yo grassy of see. Peter Parker picked a pack of pickle peppers. So how many pickle peppers did Peter Parker pick? Peter Parker picked yellow lists. That's why Peter Parker picked plenty of pickle peppers from a Crickler's peppered pickle patch. Now, you'll never get our Avery to say that to a sound recorder. Yes, Mr. Ray is a really, really bad speaker, with his woozy American, German, Dutch accent, with a touch of high desert Southern California thrown into the mix. However, I would say that there is a 90% chance that I, yeah, a lists, am a noticeably better speaker than you. I, yeah, a lists, do believe that professional readers are well worth a minor extra expense to place a polished finish to your audio products. Thank you for your attention. Could I have another drink, please? Hey, bud! I a PBR here! Please, Lord, reincarnate Harry S. Amen. This is Mr. Gabba Lisp, narrating for Ari Ray. Alias, Old Range Rat on YouTube.com. Mr. Ray thanks you for listening. Please, click your thumbs down or thumbs up vote about this subject, and please share this link with your friends or enemies. I, Gabba Lisps, do believe that professional readers are well worth a minor extra expense to place a polished finish to your audio products. Thank you for your attention. Could I have another drink, please? After a long life, I will now offer some life lessons and facts that they should teach in grade school. But they won't. Life lessons. Lesson 1. Life is not always fair, so, it is most wise to honor the position of authority. That is, 
As a child honor my mother and father. As a citizen, obey the law of the land. Lesson 2. You have the right to be wrong, once. Sometimes. Lesson 3. You can pick your nose, but please don't pick mine, unless I ask. Lesson 4. Don't believe everything you hear or read or think you have seen. Lesson 5. Do not think negative, only positive. Lesson 6. Three lefts consecutive are always right. Lesson 7. The right is not always correct. Lesson 8. Never admit you have seen a new F.O. Lesson 9. It is pointless to argue with an idiot or a modon, so do it for entertainment value only. Lesson 10. Always smile. People might just think you're friendly. True facts about America. Fact 1. This country was started by capitalism from Europe. Period. Fact 2. After we gained our independence it was built up by capitalism. Period. Fact 3. We bought and stole the frontiers, promising free homesteads to citizens that would travel west and settle there. Fact 4. We promoted cheap food, labor, and later transportation to grow our country. Fact 5. Law and order belong to the strong. Fact 6. And then came the wealthy rough rider to rule. Fact 7. This president has forever been cursed by the pious righteous right. Fact 8. This pious lot has no compassion or empathy unless they get something in return. Fact 9. Mankind's technology appears to be improving at a rapid pace. Fact 10. Unfortunately most men's intelligence and empathy are not keeping pace. This is Mr. Gavilis, narrating for R.A. Ray. Daily is, Old Range Rat on YouTube.com. Mr. Ray thanks you for listening. Please, click your thumbs down or thumbs up vote about this subject, and please share this link with your friends or enemies. <laughs> Hello, my name is Microsoft Sven. Baseball, basketball, American football, Apple Pie, and Chevrolet's, with liberty under, or over God, I am proud to be an American. However, my America has turned into the country of not so United States of America scam. Back in my youth, I was very offended of the pothead love hippies that claimed with liberty and justice for all, was American propaganda. In the 60s, I felt the older kids were just ignorant or naive. Today's youth would be justified to be like the hippies of the 60s. The 60s generation is now in their 60s. Where have the hippies gone? Absolutely nowhere. We had realized that we were indeed ignorant or naive. The problem is times have changed over the years and we are still either ignorant or naive, or maybe just too tired or frustrated to try changing our system. I the American working boomer, once I flew with eagles, now I wait to slither with earthworms, although I still intake breaths of life. Born under the reign of Truman, raised under the giants of Eisenhower, Kennedy, and Johnson. Awaken under Nixon, Ford, and Carter. Broken under Reagan and Bush. Buried by Hillary and Hillary Clinton. Please Lord, reincarnate our yes amen. Oh, at least we didn't get gored. Ooh, Bush whacked again. Hey bud, could I have another beer? Another PBR here, please. Oh Ben Ma, oh Ben Ma. Did you enjoy? Would you like more of this style of humor? If so, go to www.youtube.com backslash and then type Toehouse as one word in their search box. That is Toehouse, or Townhouse might work a video called To W House should come up as the first video. One baby boomer recites his presidential prayer, which is followed by another professional reader's presentation about healthcare reform. Please feel free to share with your friends or enemies. This is Microsoft Sam. Wishing you and yours the very best of times.